to your new moon reading. This is the new moon in Virgo, which started on the 27th of August, and we're going to feel it right up until the full moon, which is on the 10th of September. So we're just going to look at what this new moon energy in Virgo is bringing in for you. What the, this moon is really about is about professional new beginnings. It's about opportunities to change and improve your lifestyle. And it's also looking at what was not working for you previously, guys. This could be anything. It could be old habits, attitudes, beliefs, right? We're just like taking a long, hard look at that and releasing it as this new and working with this new moon energy. It's also a fantastic time, guys, to do a big clean up, clean up your office, clean up your bedroom, your home. Just, you know, once we get rid of the old stale energy, we allow new energy in, open up the windows, light candles, light incense, just to bring this fresh new energy of this wonderful new moon in. Okay, Taurus, let's go ahead now and see what this new moon in Virgo is bringing in for you. Any messages, possibilities, anything we need to know at this time. I'm going to start off with your oracle cards because that just gives us a nice core message of um, the energies and possibilities. And then we're going to clarify everything with the tarot to get further details and insights. Just remember if the messages that come through don't resonate with you, I don't want you to worry. Just means that it's not meant to be your reading at this time. And you can go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant information for you. Oh, that looks so lovely. Look at that. Taurus. Wow. That looks amazing. Right. So. Wow. This is absolutely wonderful. First of all, you've got the full moon in Virgo. Okay. So we're in a new moon in Virgo, but that's also very special sign coming through very loud and clear Taurus. You are good enough. So you've got to tap into that energy and just realize and know no matter what is going on no matter what is happening you are good enough actually i'm going to take that one step forward you are more than good enough taurus okay you are more than good enough you've got everything you need you need whatever it takes in whatever situation there's no need ever to think that you're not good enough but we will clarify look at this new moon exactly what we're dealing with do you know how auspicious this is a new start is coming with that you've got love and blessings this is a very very beautiful reading very beautiful energy coming in you've got love now love taurus love is love okay this could be love for a person it could be love for a situation it could be love that comes just from doing what you want to be doing from being where you want to be but love is just such a beautiful universal energy and when it comes through over a new moon reading it just tells me that there is this renewed energy of love and like i said it's going to be different for everybody so just take it as it resonates then you've got the most lovely card coming in blessings plural blessings so we've got blessings coming in over this um, new moon period which we will clarify so let's go ahead and look at the tarot let's see what's coming in for you now oh i think i thought we had a, something that jumped but it didn't look like it okay all right let's start off here you're good enough we've got eight of cups we've got four of pentacles We've got 10 of wands and we've got the Hierophant. Wow, what a reading. You are good enough. We've got the Eight of Cups. I'm going to just get another card on that and then we're going to speak about this. And you've got the Wheel. Look, when we've got Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups just tells me, Taurus, that you have, you're walking away from something. Something, and I, I love this, over, over this period, it could have been anything that made you feel not good enough. It could have been a person, could have been a situation, or it could have been that you felt something wasn't good enough for you. And either way, each of these scenarios is absolutely perfect to walk away from. You just, can you see, she's just burning it, walking away from it, 
and walking into a whole new horizon. There is something, there's a change here that you have initiate, going to initiate over this period because the wheel now turns, the wheel turns in your favor. You're walking away, releasing. This is perfect time to do this, Taurus, perfect time. That's, it could, like I said, whatever you have recognized and identified that is not, um, making you feel good enough or you have identified as not good enough okay you just walk away and say onward to something better something more fitting for me wow lovely now a new start is coming we've got the four of pentacles okay so let's look at this we're going to clarify four of pentacles that jumped and I'm going to take that because that really wanted to and see how that works with that card. Okay, let's start here. A new start. Look at this. See that little village there, that desolate village? She's leaving it. She is leaving whatever this village represents to you guys. This could be literally something that is just not good enough for you it could have been a place a person a job um you name it okay a business you name it but it's something that was not working for you she walks away she's dressed to the hilt clothes jewelry she takes what she has her four of pentacles it's all she needs to start again to move on barrier is up she takes one quick glance and then onward and upward as the wheel turns to something new and with this new start so this new it's really this is just telling you we've got the ace of uh, ace of cups here with the heart here once again there's something you're moving away from something releasing something that did not resonate with you from a heart perspective taurus it didn't fill you up and this could be, also be a job right it could have been a business it doesn't have to be a, a partner it could very well be a partner but it doesn't have to be it because it just says it was something you felt like was lacking for you from a heart point of view. Maybe somebody was just making you feel incredibly small, diminishing your light, right? It could be something like that. And, you know, the, we have people in our lives, sometimes we just come across a, a certain colleague, a boss, a family member, and you're just like, no, no, I'm better than that. I deserve better than that. And that's it. You take what you need and you leave it behind. And then you've got the Ace of Cups coming in. There is there is something about this, something that resonates with you from a heart perspective, a heart base that's coming in for you with this new start. You, you're not going to tolerate anything else but that. Once again, under our love, it tells us you've been through a journey with this. But with the Ten of Wands, tells me the journey's coming to an end. You, it's like the hardship, the carrying the burden. You've done the work. You've done the work. You've traveled up and down hills, sounds, and mountains with what, whatever you've taken, what you needed. Here we see with the Four of Pentacles, and here you can see with her luggage. You've taken what you've needed, and now you're moving on. Let's clarify Ten of Wands. Let's clarify Ten of Wands here for Taurus. There it is, Page of Pentacles. Yeah. I think for a lot of you, um, Taurus, this might have to do also with um, work, okay? So, um, but, the, you know, the Page of Pentacles could be a start in a lot of things. It's the it's a beginning of a new opportunity. It's something that starts small, that grows bigger, but it's walking away from something that no longer works, that has some, that made you feel not good enough or you felt was not good enough for you. You got what you needed out of it. You've taken your four pentacles, whatever you needed. You like acknowledge, I learned, got my, taken my lessons and now I'm off to my new start and I'm going to be in an environment where I feel good, where I feel good, where I feel I belong, okay? And you take that where it resonates. It could be any area of your life. Now, look at this. We've got the Hierophant right under blessings. So let's take a card on the Hierophant. Because we know now that there are blessings coming in. Let's take one more card here. Oh my goodness, Taurus, what a... Sorry, if I had, now I'm repeating myself, but this is really a beautiful reading. Blessings. Okay, Hierophant, please, I have to, oh, I, oh, I know I always point this out, but can you just look at that smile? Because it just tells me the absolute joy 
that this is going to bring into you. You're 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 coming up. You're taking yourself up to a whole new level, a whole new um, strata. Okay, whatever this is that you're releasing, it's time to release it, and you know it. It's going to bring you so much joy, so much release as you walk up the steps to this new beginning. And this new beginning is is presenting as the Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Ten of Pentacles, is it's like a wish fulfillment, but it's got with regards to your pentacles, right? It's abundance. It's not wanting for finances. It's like on your way to creating this beautiful home, the family, the kids, the dog. No, it doesn't have to be in the literal sense, but take it as it resonates. What what does that mean for you to have enough to build something solid? And you have, we have that being shown here as you're going up to a whole new level with this, these blessings coming in. Oh, that's lovely. So what I want to do for you now is I want to take one more oracle card just to get a final message for you, just in terms of the energy to work with over these next few days until the full moon. And we've got squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. You are good enough. Believe in yourself. This new start is coming. It's, your blessings are coming in. Taurus, it looks so lovely. So there it is. So that's all I have for you at this time. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please go ahead and give it the thumbs up. Just lets me know that you like this kind of content. And I wish you all a wonderful new moon period and sending lots and lots of love.